Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate Community Thread. So the title is Find, Duplicate and Update Status Value to Duplicate Item. So this is based on a SharePoint list. So the plan is user is going to create a new um, item, then find the duplicate and then if it's duplicate, then we need to set the, the latest one as duplicate. Okay. So I made a SharePoint list, which is similar to this. Let me show you that. Here is my list called test list. So if I add a new item, so I'm going to put 100 there, title as 100 and uh, see the status. Ignore or ignore the other columns here, please. So um, I'm going to default to new. And if it is duplicate, then we need to set that as duplicate record. Yeah. So it's new and save it. So the next record if I'm going to create another one with new then in theory what should happen is once the user saved this is the latest uh, record so this record it should set to duplicate record okay so ideally that should show that as duplicate record the other one other one will be the default status which I am using here as new then okay so let me delete all this and um, we can test this Right. So first, um, let's build the flow. So for this, I'm going to use the SharePoint connector as my trigger. So SharePoint when an item is created. Okay. So here I'm going to select my SharePoint site. Then my list name is called test list. So you can type it here. Then it should appear here. Test list. It is. Okay, and the next thing what we want is we want to find the duplicate. So for that, I'm going to use get items. Okay, here we go, get items. And again, selecting the site name, then the same list we want. So that's um, test list. Okay, now the next thing we need to do here is we, we have, I'm going to use my identifier as title. So remember, I'm going to enter here the title as numeric values here, like 100, 200, whatever that is. Yeah. So um, to get the schema name, always you need to go to the list settings and click on the title. Then see here field equals title. So that's a field name we need to use. The reason I'm saying here is you can rename this to whatever you want. You know, I can call here as number or unique uh, something like a number or ID or something like that I can call whatever I want but this name is not going to change so always use this name under your filter queries then okay I'm not going to rename that I think it's a useful tip to know actually okay so that's called the title so I'm going to type that field equals that's actual schema name is equal to the title coming from the previous so two single quotation within that I'm going to use this title then okay so that's that then the next thing we want to use uh, do here is we need to update the duplicate so I'm going to use an update item and then and then the SharePoint site name again it's the same thing called test list test list Okay, the ID. So remember to update the ID, we want the actual ID which is originally created. Okay, then only we can update a record. So the ID is coming from the when an item is um, created or from the get items. So remember the requirement here is the latest one we need to set that to the the latest value we need to set that to duplicate. Yeah, if it's duplicate, if it's more than one record. So that means it's always going to be our when an item is created. So that's that when an item is created. That's the ID I'm going to use. So remember that that's coming from the trigger. That's going to be the latest record. Then inside the title, because it's mandatory, again, I'm going to use the same title as the previous one, um, you know, from the trigger again. Okay. So once that done, what, oops, sorry, the title I need is, um, I need the title coming from the, I oh, ignore the, Ignore the apply to each loop. Let me add that again. Okay, so update item ID, then the title coming from the. So let's search for the title. 
when an item is created so it should be the same same one now yeah okay so the rule here is we can only update the status to duplicate this if more than one record there so for that what we want to do here is i'm going to add an action step add an action so that's um, an if if statement i'm going to do and i'm going to say the if condition here and in the condition what i could do here is i can get the expression here go to the expression and to find the click on the expression and um, type the length plus the escape key so that's the expression you typed place your cursor inside that between the brackets then click on the dynamic content then here i'm going to select get items value there see that value so that's that's just, that's the syntax we want so here here we go I'll, um, I'll copy this expression under my video as well so i'm going to add a note so you should know that what it is length output of that that will make sure if the record is more than one or not so i'm going to put here is greater than one that means there are two records here yeah so if it's greater than one means it's guaranteed that we got two records and the very latest record we want to make it uh, to set it to uh, you know um, to update yeah so i got that now then uh, here we can go here and say update but we can't i'm just drag and drop that under the s condition that the update statement so in theory it should update it but there is a problem here the problem is the length is greater than one we want to get only the latest one only okay then the latest record only we want to get um to say yeah we want to update that to uh, set it to duplicate so what i did here is i'm getting the get items that will give me um you know more than one value or not then i make sure that this id is coming from the trigger id and this is my title also that is also coming from my trigger which is the latest record so only the latest record is going to get updated and then it set the status to duplicate record okay so i'm going to save this flow so sp list duplicate status okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to test this yeah right click on the test add manually and click test this is one way of you can test the flow immediately so once i click test what will happen is the flow is going to prepare for that trigger now yeah you see that it's waiting now so now i'm going back to my sharepoint and um, adding a new list here so adding a new record i'm going to use 100 status is new here and click on save that's my first record so let me go back here and uh, within few seconds the flow executed so let's go back to the run history the flow created successfully and um, so sorry the flow ran successfully the get items it is looking for the title is equal to 100 which this 100 value is coming from the previous step it shouldn't be the, so it, it is false it's only one record there so it's false and it's, it's not going to update it so if i go back and refresh this uh, screen again still my status will be called will be you know new then okay the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to add another record again 100 again okay this is a new one new the latest one i'm going to put and then um that's again i'm going to save this so let's put something here as a project um, number as uh, something 100 so at least i know that's a new record i added because otherwise it looks uh, pretty much similar so this is the latest record you can see here that's also new but let me go back to my flow now click on the back button and um, yeah keep refreshing this this is a refresh button so anytime flow should run again and uh, let's see what happens okay here we go flow and flow is running now and uh, let me refresh that that succeeded so let's click on that so this is another way of looking at uh, the run history what happened this is the latest run this is my second record which i created then the flow uh, you know started running then it's 12 seconds ago so i'm going to click that that takes me to the flow run history that's the record has been created then the get items and it's 100 so there are two records here so it's true now see that 
it is true now and it is updating that item id is 23 which is my latest record of the id it is so if i go back here under the when an item is created this record id is uh, 23 if you click on download that will open up this window just search for 23 here you should be able to see it 23 is the id here so where is it see that internal id and the id is 23 see that that's the id it is so that means it's updated that latest record with that status which is setting the status as duplicate record okay let me click on the back button now go back to sharepoint remember i'm not refreshing that yet oh yeah it's, it's automatically refreshed so the latest record it is see the latest record which i remember i put under the project number as 100 also so that set to duplicate record so from here what we could do then is i believe in in this thread um, then it says if duplicate state is found update the most date time status value uh, update the most current date time item status value to duplicate item um, that is the that is what i just shown then send an email to the manager saying duplicate found so all you need then is under the if condition after the update you could go here and say send email and then put the appropriate message and send the email that should be under the as condition of that after the update item okay i'm not going to show you that i'm just uh, you know uh, looking that uh, thread uh, what's the requirement here is so yeah that's the way you know you can um, you know do the updates uh, finding the duplicate and set the related uh, status so um, again i'm going to add another one you can add another one also and um, see uh, you know you can again add here 100 if you want and then put um, here the uh, the project number i just want to you know set something there actually uh, let me see that project number yeah i'm going to put 100 dash uh, 2 then you know i just know that this is the third record so 100 dash 3 then yeah and save that here we go that's the latest record it's new now just going back to the uh, you know the flow and um, just click on the refresh keep refreshing it and see under the flow run successfully okay flow ran successfully and i'm going to click on the history again you can see here it uh, again it's uh, you know looking for the same value 100 there because that's the value i entered as the latest record and then it's true then and it's update the record and um, uh, you know it set the status again there so let me go back to sharepoint here we go that's the latest one i ended like 100 hyphen 3 and that's also set as duplicate record if you look that's the very first very first record we entered and that is still showing this what of the status it was that in my flow i set the status as new then that's it yeah um hope this is useful thank you for watching